Welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip, where I'll show you how to use scene samples as shown in the heads up display to determine render settings. In Keyshot, you can invoke the heads up display by clicking the view drop down menu and selecting heads up display or pressing the H key on your keyboard. New to Keyshot 6 is the time and samples counters visible in the heads up display. Whenever a setting is changed that affects the real time view, the time and samples counters reset as the image begins resing up again. This is done so you can correlate samples with time. For rendering, Keyshot offers a maximum samples render mode which allows you to specify the number of times each pixel of your screen is sampled during the rendering process. Generally, a higher number of samples will produce a better image. As you let your scene res up in the real time view, you can see how long it takes to reach a specific number of samples. This will give you an idea of how long rendering in maximum samples mode might take, as well as how much noise the rendering will have upon completion. For example, if you're happy with the results you see in the real-time view after reaching 30 samples in the heads-up display, then a value of 30 samples in the maximum samples render mode will be sufficient. Note that if you render an image at a higher resolution than your real-time view, it will take longer to reach your maximum samples setting. For more helpful tips, subscribe to our channel at youtube.com slash keyshot3d. Go to keyshot.com learning for more videos, tutorials, and quick tips.